Hey there, how you doing? So, you want to start making animations. Well, what if I told you it is 20 times easier than you think? With this little program called Epson. Now, what Epson allows you to do, instead of drawing a hundred frames and then you'll have one little scene, with Epson you can just draw one frame and let the program take care of the rest. Now, will it look as good as real animation? No. But you will still be able to animate and it will still look really, really cool. Now, there's going to be three things you're going to have to most likely download. One is Epson itself, which allows you to do all the animation. Two is a good editing program, which allows you to edit everything. I preferably use DaVinci Resolve, which is an amazing program. And three is something to draw with. Now, this can even be MS Paint or any other free software you can use. We use Procreate because it goes well with our iPads and tablets that we use to draw all these animations. There's going to be one more thing you're going to need, which is not that hard to come by, but it is a camera. Now, with the camera, you're going to be recording yourself and you're going to be turning yourself into an absent animation. Now, before you start recording, there are three things you should take into account. One, the background will definitely mess up some of your animations if there's too much stuff happening in the background. Even if it's just clutter, try to film onto a wall, preferably, that is just one singular color. It will help a lot with the animation. Two, you want to make sure that your motions with your mouth are as wide as possible. Over-exaggerate as much as you can while you're recording. And try not to blink too much. And number three, if you want to have your character have a hat or something along those lines, you must actually make sure that your character that you are recording has a hat. Because you can't actually draw a hat onto the character unless there's an actual physical object in the real world that you're recording. Same thing goes for any props you have, for example my wizard staff or any of the guns that I've used in my animation. I use all of those just to actually get a reference. They usually are toy guns or anything like that, so the color doesn't matter because in the Epson animation it will look completely different. You basically just need to shape. You can even cut out some stuff with cardboard and make it look like a gun or something like that. So, after you record it and you're happy with what you got with your little skit, the next thing you're gonna have to do is change that video into a whole bunch of images. Now, I'm gonna show you how to do this with DaVinci Resolve. There are a lot of other ways of doing it, so if you have any other way, just do it that way, but I'm gonna quickly show you how to do it with DaVinci Resolve. So first things first, you want to grab the footage that you just recorded and put it in DaVinci Resolve. Cut it down just to the size you like it, and after that, go into the fusion tab right here now after the fusion tab you will want to hit control space now once you hit control space a little thing will pop up and you will want to type in saver over here click on saver and a little bar will pop up at the bottom and also at the top right you will see this little thing called browser now hit that browser button select where you want to save and make sure it's somewhere that you know where it's going to be so don't just save it anywhere random make sure you know what's going to be Name your file and then also end it with .png so you have a nice PNG file. Afterwards, go to the top right here, hit Fusion, then hit Render All Savers. Now what this will do, it will change the entire footage that you have into singular images for every single frame. Once you're fully finished with that, head over to the file that you just created, copy it and then go into the copied file to select which image you want to use as your main key image. Now the key image is the image that you're going to be drawing over and with this image you will be able to make the full animation. Now make sure the images you choose, the mouth is quite wide open and your eyes are also open. Those are the main things you really need to look at. Now the reason also we copied the file is because with this copied file we want to delete every single image that is not the key images now you can have multiple images and it will smoothen out the animation process but it is up to you how many frames you want to use just remember the more frames you actually draw the better it ends up getting speaking about drawing let's get into the drawing part right now now the drawing part might take a while but it's also pretty simple the only thing you need to do is draw over all of the images that you just saved on that copied file. Just make sure that when you're drawing that the mouth and eyes 
like stuff that basically moves lots is lined out properly while stuff that sort of stays still you can have a little bit of leeway with and like maybe put some wrinkles there or maybe a scar or something like that now personally i actually really cannot draw but a friend of mine can so i actually conned her into doing all of this with me so yeah thanks by the way buddy Anyway, after the images have fully been drawn, you want to go back into that copied folder and you want to put all the drawings in that copied folder. Now, rename all the drawings to the images that correlate with the drawings. Then afterwards, the only thing you need to do is put them into the Epson program. When you put them in the Epson program, make sure the original file, that's not the copied one, goes straight into the video. And then the keyframes is the copied one that you just made with the drawings on them and then you just hit run all and it should be absolutely fine you just have to wait a little while because this program will take a little bit of time but afterwards you have your animation now your animation is going to come in these little files right here just grab them chuck them straight into your editing program and you should have a nice little layout of an animation if you made multiple keyframes, you will actually have multiple of these files. So what I would recommend doing is grabbing those files and just making sure they sync up to the other files and then fuse them together as one big clip. After you've done that, the only thing you have to do is edit everything together, make sure that the sound and the background's there, maybe add a little thing here and there. I mean, I add my cat into the mix, but obviously because absence a little bit iffy with certain little things i can't properly animate my cat with that so what i do i use a little bit of a south park style animation for my cat but there are a million things you can basically do to do some actual little animation style things in there i mean i like to use a lot of random green screen effects that i grab from youtube i don't like using any proper like actual full force effects because i feel like the more budget something looks the kind of funnier it is so it's sort of like up to you what style you really want to do but i reckon the style i got going right now is quite nice but it's all about figuring out who you want to be with the animation program but anyway absin is a beautiful tool and i am so grateful i got into it the reason i actually got into it is because of joel uh joel harver he is amazing you guys probably already heard about him if you're watching a video like this to how to make a video but joel is amazing if you haven't heard of him by some miracle go check him out he is amazing i'm gonna just link him down in the description and maybe at the end of the video as well so anyway i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did maybe leave a like maybe subscribe it's up to you guys and check out some of my well cracky the crack wizard uh videos i'm trying to upload every single day uh for a little short so yeah it's hard work but it's fun so we're gonna keep uploading as much as you can anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed it and well i'll catch you guys whenever i catch you bye